It's winter morning in the morning. We're in the morning. We're in 24 hour morning, but because it's winter morning, we can actually stay for two weeks. However, we have no Wi Fi here. No. <laughs> this is really annoying because I definitely stay here. For well, we've got three bars, but it's extremely intermittent. So for me, it's fine. I could edit, but Michael can't really do anything. No. Anytime I go to upgrade or download the package or something, it's just like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. So we're desperately hopeful that at Barbie Dunn, which is about four or five miles away. It's like three miles. It's quite a few lift bridges and swing bridges, but right. it's not really that far. But we're hoping because it's a bit of a little town or village. I don't know what it is. It's bigger than where we are, which is nowhere. So we're hoping that there they've got Wi-Fi because we want to stay there for about a week because this area is actually where my dad grew up. So he's going to come and visit and we're going to go and see. Yeah, he was born not far that way, apparently. Yeah, we're going to go and see the farm. So yeah, we will need to be able to do some work. Mm -hmm. So fingers crossed. <laughs> All right. So in the meantime, there is, this is one like... lift bridge, one swing bridge, another lift bridge with a lock, a swing bridge, a swing bridge, and a guillotine. This is Psych House Road lift bridge. No, I think I'm going to walk. Yeah. Because otherwise I'll be on and off and on and off and on and, and off. I'm going to potter along on the boat waiting for them to open. <laughs> you have a jolly old time getting cold at the back of the boat. Yeah, well this time I'm putting my jacket on because it is... It might be a sensible thing to do. I know, it's just because <laughs> the waterproofs that I got don't go over my winter jacket. Yeah. So it's like I have an option of being warm and wet or dry and cold. Okay, well it's hopefully the rain will hold off although it's very grey. Yeah. So far, this area of Yorkshire has been mostly grey. <laughs> In my understanding, that's just the permanent colour. But um, I'm loving the canal here. Like, it's really wide because obviously it had really heavy traffic and um, so quiet. Like, obviously, 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 the um, canal just a bit further south of Bobby Dunn is still closed from the floods that are happening like, two or three weeks ago, but the rivers have gone down, so we don't quite understand why the canal is still closed, but it is. And we might find out more when we actually cross the River Dawn. Yeah. After all the swing bridges and everything, when we get to the junction, we'll pass an aqueduct that has guillotines at each end. And that aqueduct is apparently used to, to shut off the South Yorkshire navigations from this stretch when Isn't the flood? flood is big enough to hit the aqueduct, like we cover well. the aqueduct. So anyway, we'll find out, and hopefully it'll open after, like, next week, so we can actually get to Sheffield. Yeah. Alright. Right, Let's on go. Away. Out of the three of us, George is definitely the one who's most excited about today's cruise. Psych House lift bridge is huge. Luckily, it's electronically operated with a waterways key. I probably don't need to keep raising it once the boat has clearance, but for some reason I do. And because I raised it so far, it takes an age to lower it. Luckily, there isn't any traffic waiting. The new Junction Canal is part of the Sheffield and South Yorkshire navigation, and it runs from Bramath Junction, where it links to the River Don and the Stainforth and Geepy Canal, to the Air and Calder navigation at Sykehouse Junction. It opened in 1905 and was one of the last canals to be built. It runs in a completely straight line for five and a half miles. It's not far to the next bridge, which is Kirk Lane Swing Bridge. We reach Psych House Lock and we're lucky to find there's a lockkeeper working today.
There appeared to be towpaths on both sides of the navigation, but I apparently picked the wrong side as the path runs out just before this house. Michael picks us up and we ride to the next bridge. They weren't joking when they said this canal was straight. This is Top Lane Lift Bridge. This one is Low Lane Swing Bridge. That's the last of the obstacles for a while, so we jump aboard. The distinctive Don Aqueduct is visible in the distance as we approach. It has guillotine gates at each end. These are lowered when the river Don below is in flood to prevent the river flowing into the canal. The Don Aqueduct has been closed recently because of the flooding and the river still looks fairly high to us. Here is Bramath Junction, the Stainforth and Keedby Canal is to the left and we're continuing down the main line of the Sheffield and South Yorkshire navigation. We have arrived at the visitor moorings at Barnby Dun. There are more moorings on the other side of the lift bridge, but we choose these ones. They're slightly muddier, but they're further from the road, so should be quieter. We attempt to record an outro, but it's raining and the battery dies in our audio recorder, so we give up and bundle inside. A few hours later, we hear the lift bridge siren, so we look outside and we spot the XL Pride approaching. It's a huge oil tanker, 60 metres long. It takes this route every week or so, travelling between Rotherham and Hull. The fact it's moving today explains why we had a lockkeep back at Psych House Lock. Yeah. 
It certainly tested our mooring lines as it passed. A week later we're still in Barnby Dunn and we spot it coming back the other way. See, the sun does occasionally shine in Yorkshire. We hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell if you want to receive notifications every time we release a new video. Yeah, people are personal in the comments, man. Mm. People get personal. Mm. Yeah, like, you don't really look that good, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. You, look, you guys are really Death tired. Death warmed over, they said. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. It's good to know. It's like poop in a sack, beaten with a... Anyway. <sighs> I'm really tired, to be fair, so it's a fair observation. <laughs> it's winter morning in the morning. What? It's winter morning in the morning. Morning? It's winter morning in the morning. Oh, Back this back. wasn't recording. Seriously? No. No, she's joking. It's my go-to joke. Yeah. One day it won't be funny, because no. we actually won't be recording. I don't think it's ever been funny.